I am here with a gratitude check-in. Uh, if you are, like I am, doing about to do or have started the one month mindfulness challenge of gratitude, then this video is for you. <laughs> and if you haven't, if gratitude is something you're interested in or mindfulness, mindful living, living well, um, please uh, join us. So you can like this video, you can subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and join in <laughs> so we can really just uplift and encourage each other in this mindfulness and um, mindful movement journey. So speaking of uplifting and encouraging each other, this video is really sort of an informal vlog style video with just me doing a few daily check-ins on the gratitude challenge and sort of how I uh, approached the three action items for this month. And if you know me, you know it did not involve carving out a ton of extra time and rearranging my day. <laughs> it really was most days things that I didn't have to take any extra time. I could accomplish them while I was doing something already in my daily routine. So most days I really didn't take any extra time hardly to do the action items, but uh, I do feel it's been really effective and I, I do feel, um, I do feel more grateful and I do feel like I have more, um, sort of an awareness of that gratitude, intention of gratitude, um, during my day. So it's definitely, I feel like it's effective, but yet again, I haven't really spent much time at all. And that is my type of challenge for sure. So if you haven't started the challenge yet, you can certainly start at any time. And it doesn't have to be for a whole month. It could be, you know, you could start middle of the month and just go through the end of the month. It doesn't have to be 30 days. It doesn't have to be an hour a day. Just start where you are and just get going. That's all. So uh, here we go. So here is here are a few of my check-ins to encourage us uh, along our mindfulness journey. So thank you in my intention of gratitude. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for joining on this challenge. Here we go. It is the first Monday in November and I am out working on the one month mindfulness challenge. I am about to take a gratitude walk. I'm on a walk as you can see and I'm here with my dog um, who I have to take on a walk anyway in the morning. So this is not taking any extra time out of my day. I'm already out on a walk, so I'm going to turn into a gratitude walk, just really noticing what's around me, you know, the sights, the foliage, um, the sounds, how I feel, and just finding some extra joy and gratitude this morning. So I am looking forward to it. I hope you will join in on the one month mindfulness challenge as well, so we can uplift each other uh, in gratitude this month. So I hope you're having a wonderful day and thank you. Hello, I'm here for my daily gratitude check-in. I've got these two sidekicks with me. So for today, for one of our uh, action items on the, I'm trying to get us on the picture, uh, for the monthly, for the gratitude challenge, for the one month mindfulness challenge of gratitude, uh, one of the action items is to take a gratitude walk. And we just read this book that is called The Listening Walk uh, for part of our homeschool today. And it's very similar to a gratitude walk, isn't it? So we decided we're all gonna go take one right now. And we're actually gonna take our dog with us too. So, um, <laughs> here. <laughs> hey, yes! Okay. So, <laughs> So we're already, uh, it's already a great idea for all of us to take a walk. We have to take the dog for a walk. The kids want to play outside. So it's not really taking any extra time and it's pretty simple. We're just going to walk out the door and see what we can hear and see. We just did a little practice in the house and we're ready to go. Do you want to say, hey, do you want to say, anybody want to say something that they're I'm grateful for? I'm grateful that we have like food because some people are just like, they can't like afford food or anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, You're grateful for food. Yes. And what about Miss Nia? Um, I'm thankful for my family. 
Oh, that's a nice. And my, my dog so, Snake for the treats. And our dog is, I'm sure he is. <laughs> so yes. So here we go. So we're off on a gratitude walk. Anyone say bye? Bye. <laughs> Hello, Jennifer here with a really quick check-in for this month's mindfulness challenge of gratitude, which is such a nice intention. One of the action items was this is to send a thank you note. And so I have right here, dun, dun, thank you notes, little packs of them. So I have them on hand because I think that's half the battle, really. Uh, it's not, I think it's not something that I don't think about and probably find the same way. If I don't send a thank you note, it's usually because I just don't have them. And by the time I get to the store to get one, it seems like too much time has passed sometimes. And then I don't know if I should still send it or not. So problem solved. <laughs> I've got some thank you notes on hand. So now I will have no reason. It will be very easy and simple when I want to send a thank you note right here. So there you go. That's my check-in for today. Thanks so much. Good morning. I am doing my one month mindfulness check-in today and on gratitude. And I just got back from a walk. I did a Part of my walk is a gratitude walk this morning and I was walking my dog and yeah, I just it was kind of took some time to notice everything around me and just to really enjoy everything around me. It's actually, it's been really, really cold here and today it was not. So um, automatically that made it more enjoyable. <laughs> so it was really nice out. It was, um, I don't know, it was just like a beautiful fall day. So back from my gratitude walk and feeling better already. So hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon. Good morning. I am doing my check-in for the gratitude one month mindfulness challenge. And I had a little stumbling, tiny stumbling block on this because I was away. I just returned. I was teaching at a retreat in Jamaica, which which was amazing. <laughs> that could be in a different video. Um, but I actually did forget to bring my gratitude journal. And I know I just got to do one and I still forgot it, but uh, I did keep it going. I actually found just at a pharmacy down there, a new journal. So I just grabbed a quick, it's just a little notebook. I just got at the pharmacy, did the trick. So I could keep it going. I could have used my phone as well. I thought about doing that, but it, I do really like the practice of like physically writing it down and um and it was a fun little souvenir so I don't know I could transfer all this over to my original journal so it's all in one that might be nice if I want to look back at it um but also even if you find that this happens to you if you travel and you forget you could even just the practice of writing it down even if you're not going to transfer it over and rewrite it into your regular journal again it's just nice to have that practice. Um, so that was really nice. I didn't take any videos uh, for this down there because I was um, just really busy living in the moment there. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, but I did take a walk every morning um, and just really noticed, especially when it's some, when you're someplace different, I think it even becomes more fun, you know, to just notice the different flowers and plants and the sounds and all those different things around, um, around us as we're walking. So that's my little post trip check in for this month. And I hope you are also um, enjoying this gratitude challenge as well. Have a great day. So those are my check ins for the gratitude challenge this month. And I hope that was encouraging. I love hearing from you what you are doing. And really the whole goal of this video is just to show how easy and simple um, that it can be, but also effective at the same time. You know, it's, we can definitely make changes without having to carve out extra time in our day or, um, you know, feel like it, we have this extra task to do. It can just sort of fit seamlessly into what we're already doing, um, but at the same time really recharge us. So I hope you found that to be the case. And again, I'd love to hear from you. Um, I love hearing from you about um, how you're doing with this and your ways of incorporating it in gratitude and, and this practice into your day. So thank you so much. I'll talk to you.